Hey Wood Turners, I'm Captain Eddie Castle and welcome to my shop. That's right, we're in the shop. Just close to cranking a lathe up. Just close. It's not as bad in here as it had been because of my brain damage. And really, all the years I joked about it, I had brain damage. Who knew? Well, yesterday I got all cleaned up to go to SWAT. And all cleaned up, my wife said, you need a haircut. She cut them all. I mean, if it had fuzz on it, it was above my neck, it got cut. She wants me to look good. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, put the head back on here. All you gotta do is watch. I get a lot of phone calls. You guys calls all, all calls call all the time. They ask questions. Kind of root at me a little bit and say, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? What's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on that? What should I do if I don't like what I have? Throw it away, burn it. Hey. But a lot of calls. And I don't mind them. In fact, there's a good chance for me to talk to wood turners. So you got something, give me a call. But most of the time, it's, hey, Cap, what's your favorite tool? Man, is that so easy. This is one of my favorite tools. This is not my favorite, but it's one of them. For some reason, I've misplaced it. This is in a 3 8 inch Ellsworth type gouge. You see a little bit of something going on there? Okay. What's the deal? All right. This is a deep fluted 3 8 inch gouge with an, a grind on it that is called the Ellsworth grind. But I renamed it a couple of years ago after spending some time with Ellie Eversara. I call it the a Ellsworth Eversara grind. I call it when I can think of the name of it. But this is the most useful tool I have in my shop. Why? There's very little I can't do with it. Yeah, there's a whole lot I can do with it. And a whole lot I can't do with it. I don't know if I said that wrong, but I might have. Here's the deal. This is one functional tool. It really is. And it's easy to maintain and sharpen. Now, I'm going to have to reset the camera in a moment. So you can get a better look at it. And if I can reach down and find the one I really, really like, I'll swap to that. But because I like using tools that I'm comfortable with. Okay? But I started off telling you I was getting all dressed up to go to SWAT. SWAT is Southwest Association of Turners. It's in Waco, Texas. It's the last weekend in, July, in August in 2017. This is a family of wood turners gathering for wood turning. No big corporate, no magazine, no function, no membership rates, none of that. This is just a bunch of turners getting together to talk turning. Great group. If I see that, I'll give you something. Really, walk up and say, hey, give me something. I'll give you something. Now, I've got a couple other things. Last week I said I couldn't figure out how to change the refill on a pen. Colin got a hold of me and told me how to do it. It ain't easy, Colin, but I got a youngster who comes around here that's got strong fingers, and he'll get into it with me. But thank you, Colin, for that. All right, now, Tennessee Association of Wood Turners, I just booked my hotel room. It's January 26th and 27th in Nashville, Tennessee. Great group of people. Been there a couple of times, but uh, and I missed it a couple of years ago. But, hey, you, you know what? This is a chance to hang with great wood turners and wood turners like you and talk with them and share ideas and all. And it's the middle of winter. It's too damn cold for you to be in your shop anyway. Go to Nashville. Now, um, I'm getting a lot of input about the, 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 the channels. <clears throat> I only have one video at a time. And when I put it out a couple of years ago after I had the... the, the after I had the stroke, I screwed up and created a new channel. I don't know, it happens. Okay? That's like you tell me, can you remember your, 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 your passwords? 
Yeah, right. Well, I couldn't remember I even had sites for passwords. So, we putting everything out there right now, and i got to tell you, it's Eddie Castellan or C-A-P-N Eddie Castellan at YouTube. Get on one of them. I'm going to put it on both. And when you subscribe, there's a button for doing it. And now, at the end of this one, wait. It's, it's, that, it's at that end. Yeah. There's going to be a button, and the end is going to look like me. What an ugly button, huh? Look like me. You press that button and you subscribe. How about that? All right. All right. Um, told you about that. Oh, thanks, Ron. Ron Radliff up in... It's in the Northwest. It's way of the... They, they'd like him to leave the country, but they got him that far, and that's about it. He's an old Air Force buddy of mine. I didn't know Ron in the Air Force, but the Air Force is much better because of Ron. Places Ron served are still there and open. Places I served are all closed. It's got to tell you something about the place, right? Okay, and a guy. Ron's a great guy. He helped me out a lot with his YouTube thing. And the woodchuckers and all this other stuff. Hey, Ron's a good guy. Okay. And this week, I got a call. Well, let me back up a little bit here. I'm going to look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. I got a call this week. And this nice gentleman talked to me for about 15 minutes. It was a pleasure to talk to this man, especially after I found out that he served in World War II and he went to the beach when it really counted. We're talking Normandy. He's 95 years old and he's a Turner, but he is an American. And a week or two ago when I said, hey folks, join me. Put your hand up and pledge allegiance to our flag. I am adamant about this. I have no problem if you burn my flag. Wrap yourself in it and set it on fire. It's the only condition I have. Because if, if you don't like my flag, you can leave. You can leave under my terms or your terms, but you can leave. Here's the deal. I did pledge allegiance. The man said it touched him in his heart. It touched a lot of people in their heart. You know why? Because today, when we go to sporting events and, the event and things like that, when I was a kid, that was kind of a, a gimme, that the Pledge of Allegiance and a, the National Anthem and all it was all part of that. The flag was part of it. It was, it was, we're Americans and we're damn proud of it. That's what it was all about. It's still about that. I'm an American and I'm damn proud of it. 49 years ago, I raised my hand and said, I'll, I'll trust my life to this country. Right, when I joined the Air Force. 49 years ago this week. But hey, I don't need you to join the Air Force. I need you to respect our country. Respect our flag. Respect our pledge. Do what is right. And I heard from that man, it was a pleasure. He really filled my heart with goodness for that day to know that there are people like him still walking around and there's people like you still walking around that know that this is a great country and we're supposed to do what we're supposed to do and that is respect our great country. So, with no more further ado, I think I see the tool I want to sharpen. I'll reset the camera and we will get there. I zoomed in on the Porta Cable 8 inch with CBN wheels. Can't be nicer, CBN. This is a tool holder. It's part of your Black Hawk rig. I put it in my tool holder. And I have a two inch offset right here. So I put the blade up against it, push this against the end of the bar. It's my two inches, two inches, two. There's three numbers you gotta know here. Two, four, and seven. From the center of this wheel to this nut, this rest is four inches. So now I got the two and the four. Where's the seven? The seven's from the pivot point on this screw to the face of this stone or wheel. I'm going to drop it in there. Make a pass. All right. Now I have redressed the face of that, that, that blade. Now, most of the time in turning, 
that's all it would take to sharpen it up. That is the Avicenna, that is the Ellsworth grind. Now, to do the Avicenna grind, which is to relieve this back, I don't need, I'll move it to two inches forward, two inches lower. And I remove it. Now I'm going to have to reset this and come up and show you something. See why I sharpened the upper part? That was the Ellsworth grind. And when I sharpened the bottom, I took off that piece I don't need. And I really never need it. I'm trying to get it in the light right. You see what cuts? What cuts is that furthest outside edge. What doesn't cut is a piece I relieved off the bottom. Why? Because I don't need it. I've learned how to use the tool and I know how to rub the, buffle, the bevel. Now, in rubbing that bevel, I can slide along and make the sweetest, cleanest cut you ever want to see. And I'm talking about a slice. A guy named Mark Soleil calls it wood slicing. Because you can gouge the wood off or you can slice it off. Slicing is much easier and cleaner and neater and gives you a better finish to start with. And you got to have a good finish to start with. So you see those two bevels and you get them both on that sharpening rig right there. That is the Blackhawk rig. And this is my favorite one. I get this at put my holder back in a place. I get this tool from Dave at D-Way Tools. And this is a 3 8 inch deep fluted Ellsworth gouge. Now that's all it is. It's not a lot of magic. Dave's a wood turner. And he owns a company that makes the tools. And he makes these tools. And here's the best part about it. And I've bought tools from 50 companies. That's right. I'm not sponsored by all these companies. I'm not saying this is Dave L Dave at D-Way Tools' this tool and he's going to send me something free. i got Dave's friendship. I know him and I know his wife. I know their business. I know their reputation, their integrity, the quality of their work and all that. I know all of that. I don't need to get a, a free tool in the mail worth whatever it costs Dave to make it. All I need to know is this is a good tool. So I ordered this from Dave at D-Way Tools. Now you can call him on the phone or you can go to his website and do it. But Dave is going to put his hands on that tool. It's not some cute little girl sitting behind a desk someplace taking the order. This is Dave and his family. And I'm, not, I'm not saying his wife isn't cute. She's nice. But here's the deal. When you deal with quality people, you get quality work. It's like my buddy Vince at Vince's Wooden Wonders. He is a sanding pro. Really is. He works very hard at it. Vince knows sanding. He doesn't know what, well, here it is. He knows what today's special is. But he knows sanding. And that's what you need. You need to talk to people that know more about this. So, with all that in mind, if you need help from Dave, go to D-Way Tools. If you need help from me, go to eddiecastellan.com. And if you want to call me, the number's at the end of the video. Not that in, that in. Okay? <laughs> I just learned this the other day. I've been saying over there and it's over there. All right. So, that's all I got right now. I got to get packed up. She says I'm, up, I'm due for another haircut. I'm pretty sure next time you see me, this might not be there. She's talking about clean and green. The green part's what really bothers me. Till next time, I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. We're making shavings in America. You take care now. Be good.